The level of violence that precipitated this newest chapter of the Palestinian and Israeli conflict is unprecedented. A professor researching Middle Eastern politics tells News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey Palestinians and Israelis will feel its impact for a long time. The devastation the Palestinian militant group Hamas has left on Israel and the region is expected to stretch even further. It's a conflict. Senior lecturer of the O'Neill School of Public and Environmental Affairs at IUND, Pierre Atlas, has been following for years. And the fact that Hamas fighters actually went into Israeli towns and took hostages and dragged them across Gaza, um, the fact that they went in and, and massacred 260 uh, kids um, at, a, at an open-air concert, and took a bunch of them hostage. This has never happened before. Seeing peaks and valleys of peace and violence, the roots of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict go back about a century, as both groups are indigenous to the Holy Land, divided on land by what's considered the Gaza Strip. Israel has uh, been controlling the West Bank since 1967, um, and they've been sharing control with Palestinians there. But Hamas is different. Hamas is a uh, Islamist group. It wants to turn every inch, what they say, every inch of Palestine, including Israel, into an Islamic state. To put into perspective, Atlas says Hamas and Palestinians is similar to the Taliban and Afghans in terms of the rigid view of Islamic theology, adding that most Palestinians don't see the world as they do. He says using Gaza as a launching pad for attacks is in essence holding Palestinian people hostage by Hamas in Gaza while also facing a Gaza blockade by Israel. They're promising uh, execution videos. They're promising now to execute the hostages that they've taken. And they're promising to put out videos the way ISIS did. They're, they're a very uh, bad actor. They don't represent the majority of Palestinians. Comparing this level of violence to what Americans saw with 9-11, he says this attack will likely be answered with an even harder blow, as Israel has called up 300,000 civilian soldiers and declared war. Professor Atlas says there are Americans with dual citizenship on both sides, so that may cause some problems as far as what the international implications will be. It's not clear, but he says countries will start picking sides. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and like us on Facebook. There is an event this Thursday on Monument Circle in support of Palestine. It's being hosted by Showing Up for Racial Justice and other advocacy groups. Organizers are calling it a day of resistance. It's set to start at 530 on Thursday evening.